everybody, it's me, your buddy Dave from thedarkstuff.com and the Dark Stuff channel here on YouTube. My newest video is just going to be a review of a punk rock extravaganza that I saw last night. Two great punk rock bands, Amal and the Sniffers from Australia and Die Spits from Austin, Texas. I mean, I've been playing Amal and the Sniffers on my show for a while, and I think they're a good band. Uh, but I was hearing, you know, things from people whose opinions that I really respect about music that, oh, this band is amazing, and they're like next level, and you have to see this group. And then when people found out they were playing in a club in Omaha, it was like, oh, I wish I'd known about this. We'd have traveled in, you know, to get to see them in a place this small, because they're typically playing places two and three times the size. Omaha's a smaller market. People have to understand that. I mean, we're not we're not Chicago here. It's not Minneapolis. It's not New York. talk about the aim on the sniffers let me just give you a quick run through with this band die spits they were the uh, opener last night's show they're from austin texas sorry about the gross cover that is that cover just freak you out or what i mean i don't know it does it does for me i don't like it it gives me the the heebie-jeebies anyways i didn't know anything about them the uh, youtube algorithms did start showing me a couple of videos of the band uh, because I guess I had been looking up Amo and the Sniffers and they're on tour, so then it thought, hey, you might like this, you know. So the band comes on stage and they look extremely young, like fresh out of high school. Now, admittedly, I'm old, okay? And sometimes younger people are looking at younger and younger and younger than normal. I get it, okay? That Those are my eyes. But this band, they just, I mean... If any of them are over 20, I would be shocked, okay? Four piece from Austin, Texas. Four women, they are just like boundless energy. They're just run on stage and just ready to rock the entire time. I would say their sound was uh, heavily influenced by early 90s grunge. Talking like Nirvana Bleach and stuff like that, like the heavier side of grunge. They have two singers, but the primary singer was um, Ellie Livingston. She has crazy rock star vibes, I mean, She's just, you know, wild on stage and just staring people down and getting right in their face. And she did this bit during the show where she like jumped into the crowd and carried the microphone and walked all the way to the back of the club and then stood up on this sort of barrier where some tables are. Awesome effect. And she was going to try and sing, but the microphone must have got unplugged at some point <laughs> along the line because she's going like this and it's not doing it. So then she jumped back in and ran. Up. It was awesome effect if it had worked. It had been amazing, but it was still really cool regardless. They have another singer um, who plays guitar also, and her name is like, uh, and this is going to be a tough pronunciation, Ava Schrobingen. So like I said, they were just, they were fast, aggressive, in your face. I ended up uh, getting a record afterwards, and I haven't listened to the vinyl yet. I'm just listening to it on streaming at the moment, but really good stuff. Die Spits, a band worth checking out live especially. So after that, that was going to be a hard act to follow. I mean, those guys were very, very good in Die Spits, right? Aim on the Sniffers come on. <laughs> and it's so funny because they're playing the theme from The Love Boat is the music playing as they're walking on and like dancing on and stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be so crazy, right? So they immediately start rocking out. And I don't know song titles enough. I mean, I recognize the couple. I recognize Maggot. I recognize security and a couple of a couple others, but I really don't know 
the song titles well enough, so I can't tell you specifically what they played. But Amy Taylor, who's the singer, incredible front woman. Again, crazy amounts of energy, just running back and forth, getting in everyone's face. She jumped down in between the uh, the stage and like the barrier gate. And was like singing in people's faces and stuff. And I tried to get a good photo of that, but I, from my angle, I just couldn't. I couldn't get there. But it would have it made some cool photos. There's probably some other ones around there. Uh, their guitarist, uh, his name is Declan Martins. He was great. Um, you know, it's funny because I, I saw an Australian punk band last year called The Chats, who were brilliant. It would be like these these guys without Amy Taylor, right? But with one of the other guys singing, and both of them had these incredible lead guitar players who could both fit in in a heavy metal band. If that was if their careers ended in punk and they went into heavy metal, they definitely have a, a future in it. If you are uh, fortunate enough to get to see this particular tour with Amo and the Sniffers and Die Spitz on the bill, get there early because it's a fantastic double bill. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care.